Get my coffee. Man, can't forget your coffee. Look at that. That right there is a made from scratch brownie by my bride. So, that right there is delicious. I don't know if you guys can, are you guys drooling yet? Yeah. Whoa, that was close. Wind's blowing pretty good up here on the mountain. Brownies. Last night, I got home, cold, wet, muddy. Been chasing broken iron for 12 hours. And my wife pulls a cast iron pizza out of the oven. I can't even tell you. I can't describe how good it is. How good the food was last night. Then my wife made from scratch pizza dough. Makes a cast iron pizza with farm raised pork, pork sausage. And then tells me that she was out of chicken feet. And then I needed to go, well, that we needed to pick up more chicken feet. I said, well, Bymart's open till 8. And, uh, I mean, you got to check for ammo, anyways, right? So. I went to Bymart, <clears throat> picked up some chicken feed, some grain for the goats, for the <clears throat> dairy goats, because we're trying some new new grain, changing the changing the uh, taste of the milk a little bit, the different grain. Sorry for the shake. Oh, brownie made its way into. You guys getting you guys getting hungry? Making you drool. <clears throat> anyway, so I come back. And she's got brownies from scratch, not out of a box, not Ghirardelli, not Pillsbury, not Hershey's. Well, maybe it was Hershey's because I think it's Hershey's cocoa that she uses. But, man, God has blessed me with a wife that is beyond blessing. Like, she is more than a blessing. She is, I don't know. But I, I thank the Lord every day for my wife. Anyways, I just want to share that with you. That's pretty good. But as a, this is my first time up on the this holiday farm fire. So I had to stop. I just come down off the machine or off the landing where the machine was at. And got a really, really good view as to the devastation. And I'm only like halfway up the fire. I'm... 12 miles up the McKenzie Highway or something like that. Anyways, I'm, yeah, I'm only like halfway up, but wind's blowing pretty hard up here. Uh, pretty cold. Winter's actually setting in pretty good, so they're trying to get as much of this timber out of here as they can. They're trying to get culverts fixed. They're trying to get a handle on roads so that <clears throat> as the winter comes in, we got all the roads that are falling out. Um, they're going to get washed out. They're going to fall away. Um, slides on top of the roads, things like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to switch the camera around. I'm going to give you guys a kind of a view as to what I'm looking at. All while I enjoy this absolutely delicious brownie from my absolutely beautiful, loving, wonderful wife. Men, don't take your wives for granted, ever. Take it from me my wife I'll never take her for granted again Ooh. awesome love you babe
you can see oh look at there hey you guys oh man that brownie's in the way again i better just take care of that so you can see where we're cutting or where ryan's cutting up there you can see right here obviously all this <clears throat> you can see some of the green some of the green over there they'll probably leave it but right here you can see all this this is replanted this was a clear cut oh probably five ten year oh probably maybe somewhere between five and ten year old reprod right here and uh gone devastated nothing so <clears throat> they'll have to replant this somehow you can see over let's see that right there looks like about a probably a 15 year reprod unit but you can see i mean it's gone sections of this tree farm absolutely gone 